Welcome to your New Year forecast reading for 2021. This is White Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony. Let's get started. I've gone ahead and I've pulled your Soul Journey card, your White Light Oracle card, and your Isis Oracle card. You've got two Isis Oracle cards, by the way. <laughs> they wanted to come out, so I let them. I've also pulled your Healing Energy card for the year, as well as your Gaia card. I will reveal these cards at the end of the reading, <clears throat> after I've built your story with the Rider Waite. I'll be painting your story today, showing the overall arching energy for the months of 2021. Keep in mind that messages in this reading are general and will not resonate with everyone. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. You could have placements in Leo, in, in which case, cross watchers, you're welcome. Again, all messages are general so they will not resonate with anyone. The only rule here at White Crow Tarot is to take what resonates and leave what does not. I hope there's an important message in here for you. I can't wait to paint your story for 2021, Leo. Let's get started. Really quickly while you're here, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing. If you're back to the channel, welcome and thank you for coming back. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so and give this video a like if it resonated with you. Also, leave me a comment down below if anything in the messages did resonate. Let's get started. All right. What does Leo need to know for the year 2021? Spirit guides, angels, show me what I need to know. Let's paint a clear and accurate story for Leo. Show me what they need to know. What does Leo need to know for their greater good? For the year 2021. I've had a little bit of a... <clears throat> kind of a... Not quite a cough, but like a... Kind of a choked up energy. Hope you guys are okay out there. Alright. January. February, March, April, June, oh, excuse me, what did I say? January, February, March, April, May, <laughs> June, <laughs> June, July, August, September, October, November, December. This will be your opposing energy for the year. Keep in mind, I normally do free shuffle. I like to let the cards reveal themselves, but because I'm doing a more controlled reading this time, I'm pulling the energy from the top of the deck after I have shuffled. Okay, different readers have their preferences. My Normal preference is to let the cards fall where they may. I like to see the energy show itself to me, not to force it. But in this case, I'm just painting a general spread, and I feel like whatever's meant to come out has been aligned in this deck for you, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Swords. That's why I've been feeling a little choked up. So. This is your underlying energy for the year. This is what's driving you forward this year, Leo. Coming out of this energy right here. You are learning <clears throat> how to rebuild yourself. I can already feel this right now. Okay? Heartbreak. Heartbreak in relationships. Heartbreak in work. Things not being in alignment where they need to be. Okay? This is your transformative year for you, Leo. All the signs have really pulled such beautiful readings coming out of deep hurt. We're moving into a new decade, and this is a year for you to shine. This is a year for you to really transform. Let's paint your story. All right. In January, <clears throat> yeah, Eight of Swords. Being blinded a little to situations, things, Coming out of it, though, okay? You're learning how to take the blindfold off and to see how to release yourself from a situation. You'll be releasing yourself from all situations, I feel like, in January, the first part of the year. 
that do not serve you, that hold you back, that feel like keeping you prisoner, again, choked up is how I felt the moment I started this reading. You are learning how to release this blindfold so that you can properly see and, re and to release yourself. Okay, this woman, she holds, she, you know, she's standing in the middle of these swords with that blindfold on, thinking she can't move. Little does she know, she's able to free herself if she only took the blindfold off. That's really semblance of eight of swords is kind of a prisoner of the mind mentality <clears throat> not being able to see knowing how to fr knowing that there's a knowing right that you can free yourself but you don't know how to you have to take the blindfold off so in january i see you removing any anything that you felt like you have been blind to in the past and learning how to release yourself from it that's huge transformative energy okay by February, Page of Swords, okay? You're looking again. You're looking. You're thinking. You've come out of this mental prison. By February, you're learning how to see clearly again. And you're kind of seeing things with new eyes, with Page, right? It's like new eyes, a fresh look fresh, fresh, fresh eyes, right? new, okay? By March, <clears throat> oh yes, taking the leap, the full. Now that you see, now that you're probably starting down, uh, some new creative ventures too, I do feel like for some of you. Um, but you're learning how to take the leap in not only yourself, but <clears throat> all aspects of life. Learning how to really see see the lighter side of things is what I feel like telling you. And you're doing with the rose, the white rose, healing rose. And you let, it's like you feel like, I feel like you're being guided, you're being led. You're taking a leap on yourself. This is about you freeing yourself. Freeing. Freeing. Okay? Come March by April. Bam. Wheel of Fortune, baby. Things coming back around. So you will have a chance, I feel like, to revisit things from the past. <clears throat> or move completely in a new direction. Because you've learned how to release yourself this first, this first quarter of the year and you're willing to take a leap on the things that serve you, that move you forward. It's like the wheel's coming back around to push you in a new direction. Things are also coming back around that in a positive spin. It's a positive spin because you're feeling pretty good, I think, by this point in the year. It's a positive spin for you, which I love that for you. I really do. <clears throat> you're just going to start really looking at things differently. You're going to start seeing things, I think, show up. Show up is what I feel like telling you. You're going to be showing up, too. Showing up for the things that serve you. Showing up for others. Showing up in business and work. It's like very transformative. You're just going to really kind of have a whole new perspective come the first quarter of the year, I do feel like, for you. By May, you're going to be sitting in some truth here, Leo. King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, respectively, or fellow air signs. But this is really about you learning to sit in this truth energy, seeing the truth of the situation, not being blinded anymore. You've got your sword back. You've got, you've got this new vision. Some of you... I think, and it's, see the butterflies over his head? This is, it's about transformation. You have transformed at the beginning of the year, and you're ready to transform all aspects of your life. You're ready to go forward, I feel like, in a new, solid direction with your truth. You've got the butterfly on his heart there, right there. You've transformed your, your soul, I feel like. I don't know what you're going through. 
I don't know what you what what's happening back here. What's put you in this heartbreak energy? Okay, but but I see you sitting in a new truth, a new identity is what I feel like. Okay, now King of Swords, analytical, analyzing situations. You will be very critical, very critical, I will say, and you will be looking at a lot of things because you're stepping into this new light, this new truth. You're going to be looking at things very thoroughly, thoroughly, okay, before maybe rushing in to take action. But it almost feels like with this Wheel of Fortune, too, like the stuff that is meant to come back around to you will come back around to you. That includes partnerships, that includes love interests, that includes business, work, okay, because you're ready to handle it now in this King of Swords energy. I like it. By June. Judgment. This is good. You got the King of Swords looking at judgment, which means you're willing to give, I feel like a lot of you are willing to give second chances to things that, second chances on yourself. It's almost like you're being given a second chance. Second chances on fixing anything that either put you in this energy back here. Sorry if you can hear any noise downstairs. We've got some gaming going on. Um, that either put you in this energy, okay? But judgment is also you learning how to properly make the judgment call on what serves you, right? You really stepping into May with, excuse me, June, knowing how to properly judge situations. Knowing, do I go down this path? Do I go down that path? Okay, <laughs> you know, just getting, making the right calls, okay? By July, beautiful, the lovers. July, this is a Gemini energy, by the way. So this is, um, some of you by this point, I feel like if you have been healing from a heartbreak scenario, will be opening up to love again by this point. Um, there's partnerships. Some of you will also, if you're sing for singles, I feel like you'll be finding your soul partners here. And it's being like Cupid's arrow is, is striking. There's, there's a divinity in the lovers, which is a Gemini energy, because you're just like you're finding your counterpart. All right. Or maybe you already have for, for couples, you know, you have your counterpart, but you're able really to approach your relationship and your marriages and your, your, your just your, your partnerships that are more clear, clear mind. You're more clear minded. Okay. And you're going to be willing to work on it again. King of Swords looking at judgment falling into the lovers you're ready some of you I feel like are ready for a second chance you're ready to give a second chance to love right that's beautiful the lovers and in a sense this is kind of clarifying that eight of swords that some of you I think a lot of you are, are healing this year from heartbreak scenarios that have that have blinded you in the past okay and for this to now be clarified over the eight of swords tells me that a lot of you really are healing from from some deep issues this year whether it, it doesn't have to necessarily be love it could be it could be also you know it's work related it's business it's anything that has put you in a combative energy an uncertain energy. There's a lot of uncertainty for you at the beginning of the year, but you're coming out of it. And you're ready to accept love again, I do believe, by the middle of the year. Come August, Nine of Wands. Got your defenses up. You're defending. You're defending either your own sense of happiness and pride and passion here, or you're defending the love that you have refound. You are putting up barriers against anything that doesn't serve you, people that don't serve you, relationships that don't serve you. You're blocking that out. You're defending your happiness. You're defending what's important to you. A lot of things in this energy. And to tell you the truth, I mean, the beginning of the year and, and 
I guess by this time in August, are probably going to be the most combative for you. Because once you step into a truth, especially with this King of Swords back here, you get, it's like you're rewarded, like you finally found it, you know what I mean? You're rewarded with what you truly deserve. And then it's like kind of a, it's a testing energy, right? To see how bad do you want to fight for it? Leo, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? What are you willing to fight for? What are you willing to defend? By September... I like that, actually, with this Five of Swords in reverse, literally feeling it. Again, because it's kind of some con some conflict that you will have faced, but you're coming out of it. It's this conflict of not wanting to only do things or see things from your perspective, to win at all costs, to, to not see multiple sides of a situation. Because, yeah, this guy, you know, he may be victorious in this little battle going on, but... He's had to kill a few friends along the way. You know what I mean? It's like these guys in the back, back here just feel so defeated. And maybe they were really his allies all along. And, but they felt like he, this is kind of a selfish energy, a selfish mindset to be in, just wanting to win. But it's in reverse. So I'm feeling like a lot of you will be learning, learning who your true friends are. Don't get me wrong. Learning what really serves you back here. But not, not wanting to, and that's why it kind of falls in line with this, just a little bit of combative energy towards this latter half of the year. N wanting to defend, but not wanting to betray. Not wanting to steal or hurt or manipulate to get your way, right? You want to start giving equally again. I do feel that. By October, the Empress, <clears throat> because you've learned how to let this go, this is this could also be a very creative time for you, Leo. Could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, or Aries, respectively. Um, just with this card, those signs would embody this card. Don't have to. You could also have this in your chart. Who knows? But the Empress is about creativity. It's about um, abundance. She's creative. The Empress is always pregnant because she's always birthing a new idea, which tells me by this time, it's going to be a very fruitful time for you. See, the cornucopia <clears throat> is, is abundant. She's, she has all the resources and things that she needs to make her life abundant because she's bringing new life into the world. For some of you, I think creative projects and ventures will be very fruitful for you at this time. Anything in business is going to be just used to be very abundant. It's going to be a very abundant for you by this time in the year. You're going to be feeling really good and a lot of things are going to be kind of falling into place where they need to come October. I actually really love that for you. Yeah. And you're coming at it again. Fire passion. Rio, there you are, showing up, okay? Fire passionate energy, all right? Don't feel stressed if the cards are coming in in reverse. Sometimes, I usually, I try to just take the energy as soon as I feel it. And what I feel is, is, yes, yeah, some of this could literally be reversed for some of you. <laughs> or, you know, it's, com it's you've had some com competition and some combative energy going on back here. So, for some of you, you could still be kind of going through emotions, right? Going through balancing and juggling some of this energy, but you're sitting in it. Nonetheless, you are sitting in your power, okay? And you're ready to go at the world again. You're sitting quite pretty. Things are really, really blossoming for you. You're taking charge again. You, you're, you're balanced. I feel like by this, by, by the latter half of the year, you're really going to be sitting pretty in your own energy, knowing how to see things clearly, but also just, I feel like, uh, all endeavors you do are gonna, you're gonna have to have a lot of drive, as you do, a lot of drive and a lot of passion behind them. It's like you've reclaimed yourself. 
by the end of the year, it feels like that. You've come out of such turmoil. And you're just like you're reclaiming this energy, reclaiming what could have been lost here. I do feel like if some of you have lost anyone, I'm very sorry. I did get that just now. Um, but I feel like by this time next year, you're just going to have a whole new approach to life, a whole new approach to your situation, frankly. It's all fire from here on out, baby. Um, Ace of Wands, yeah. So this could also be by the by this time next year uh, for singles. I'm feeling like you could have uh, starting the date again, starting to uh, new offers coming your way, passionate offers, I might say, Ace of Wands. So you know, new love could be coming in new um everything is and again with this fire it's like new passion new projects and you're moving you're like she's got the staff she holds the ace of wands queen of wands and here it is the universe giving it to you you've got your eye on the prize back there that castle in the background see this castle here in the background it's like you're taking that action towards it you're rebuilding reclaiming yourself again your empire that ace of wands with a new passionate drive forward that's exciting by the end of the year yeah oh yeah your opposing energy for the year is two of cups so um a lot of you are dealing and 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 coming through i think uh, this will be about balancing a lot of relationships overall for the year balancing uh, marriages, partnerships, um, learning how to give your cup of love again. Now, interestingly enough, we didn't see, we did not see any love for show up for you on the board. No cups of water showed up on the board for you anywhere. So, which tells me that you, you have gone kind of on a solo journey. Some of you have been very single throughout the year or feeling that way. And rightfully so, in some cases here, right? Um, but by the by, but this is what the universe is pushing you to reclaim again. Your two of cups, two of cups. These are the lovers, right? This is finding balance, finding also the partners that you're meant to be with in this life. You're ready to offer your cup of love. They're ready to offer their cup of love to a situation. So. That's a beautiful, and look with the lion on top, Leo. That's beautiful energy, by the way. I think this transformative year will be about, is about love for you. It's about sharing. It's about learning how to properly offer your cup of love, if you know what I'm saying. Because yeah. that's what you're going to be challenged with the most this year learning to give your love your healing energy <laughs> here you are inner strength take a look at that strength leo that's you showing up and this you're healing the self again you are healing the self inner strength nothing moves me from my path to the light because i have complete confidence in myself I realize my innate qualities and abilities and know that I can do anything. All the power I need is within me. That's beautiful. Your Gaia card. How it really helps to balance, clarify this message too. Your Gaia card is Hera. Hera. Hera is the ancient goddess who, before she appeared as wife to Zeus in Greek mythology, was a powerful matrilineal queen to her own right. Hera is the original, all-powerful, multifunctional goddess responsible for every aspect of existence, a symbol of the complete woman. Among the Greeks, Hera was the goddess of marriage, a special goddess of women who accompanies each woman 
through every moment of her life. Her various titles point to her roles as bringer of fertility, goddess of marriage, protector of children, of women during childbirth, and of money, the presider over all aspects of public life. She was often represented with a peacock, symbol of beauty, luxury, and immortality. The spots on its feathers reflect the starry uh, firmament, and the peacock has knowledge of the weather, reflecting the ancient role of the goddess as bringer of the seasons. Hera is a mature, powerful goddess, combining both practicality and nurturing, a strong image of the supremacy of the queen within or king. This is a general reading. Energy can be switched or reversed, right? Your soul journey card wants you to know judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yes, you do. Your white light oracle energy is Theta of Venus Theta of Venus I'll read this card to you because I wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong with this card and they are complex I have no way of interpreting what they mean unless I read them to you <laughs> ah, okay Theta of Venus one for one Attune yourself to higher consciousness by choosing to access the purest frequencies of love within. Acknowledge lower frequencies such as judgment, fear, doubt, or shame when they arise within or around you, but do not give them a foothold in your heart. You are ready for higher understanding to see things in a new and more positive light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual life path. Theta of Venus, Venus, love, your whole reading is about restoring love, my dear, my dear, that is beautiful. Now, you got two Isis Oracle cards, so, oh, oh yes, healing the divine masculine, Osiris rises, yes ma'am or sir, and serpent of fire, priestess of the serpent sisterhood. This is the energy you're stepping into for the new year. This is what's going to be embodying you, helping you, transforming you. Let me read these cards to you. All right. Healing Divine Masculine 71. Osiris rises, the divine masculine within men and women is the energy that allows for protection, discernment, healing, and a sense of deep safety and holding, even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life. When the masculine within is healthy and strong, we have an inner strength to hold ourselves safe through anything. Your inner masculine is, gonna, is going through a healing right now growing stronger in his ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. We often see the strength card in the tarot being held down. The lion, sometimes he's either accompanied by a woman or he's being held down, frankly, by a woman or a feminine energy because the divine feminine and the divine masculine balance each other out and we're all capable of the energy right we all hold traits of it you need that balance it's where your strength is going to come from you yeah. know oh and serpent of fire let me not get ahead of myself hmm. 152 
the serpent of fire isis priestess of the serpent sisterhood and queen of the serpent of fire guides you through transformation now as your energy field grows stronger and old energies are burned away in the process of your growth trust that you are growing and are more capable than you have been previously do not assess your current ability based on past standards as they no longer apply to you you are stronger and more powerful now than you have ever been before you need to learn afresh what you are capable of and isis helps you now ah i'm feeling that right now that is gorgeous that is gorgeous i love that for you leo oh yes oh yes let me pull some charms for you and then we'll end your reading So let me just say that this stuck right onto my thumb and does not want to come off. So let's see what it wants to tell you. This is your life raft buoy. This is your life raft buoy for the year, Leo. And it says discipline. Discipline. You're gaining discipline this year. Learning how to balance the situation. Balance yourself. Love it. You're finding that inner discipline. A discipline to your convictions, a discipline to your work, a discipline to your relationships, your partnerships, or finding partnerships. You will show up with the discipline and the strength to do and be who you are meant to be. Leo, this is your life, Raph Bowie. Apply discipline to everything that you do. You have the Tree of Life. You're establishing roots. I do feel like telling you with this beautiful tree of life. You have roots. Some of you have roots established. Some of you are learning how to really plant the seeds of knowledge that will inspire, that will transform. As low as these roots go, as high as they grow, as high as they grow, as low as low that they will seed. Okay. Really, truly gaining your higher wisdom with this tree of knowledge, this tree of life. This is the universe, the building, expansion. You are expanding, Leo. This tree of life. Beautiful. You have a desert rose quartz. You are a desert rose. You have this rose within you. Your heart may be hard right now, this love may be hard right now, but it's still a rose. What is a rose by any other name would still smell as sweet, Shakespeare. So, you will have this rose to give again. Where did I see it? The full. White rose, desert rose. He holds the rose because he's willing to take that leap. Keep this with you. Okay. You have a symbol of coin showing up in your reading, a penny. I, I like symbols of coin showing up. Money is coming to you. Heads up, Leo. You were, it was, you know, you had the tails end up, but... I feel like through all this, you're finding a balance again, and balance of coin will also be established. If money was an issue or has been an issue for you, and you fixing and doing this inner work, you will also gain the prosperity that you need in all aspects of life. That's what this transformation is for. Okay. And you have the blank charm. The blank charm, it's a mirror. It's a clean slate. You have the power, again, to tell any story on here that you want because it, with this charm, you're doing all the reflecting. You're looking in the mirror. You're finding that self again. 
It's really beautiful. You can write any story on here that you want. It's a clean slate, Leo. Leo, this was your reading. I hope it was beneficial to you. I'm excited for your year. It's going to be a great year. Great year for you, Leo, 2021. Please let me know how this reading resonated with you down in the comments, respectfully, respectively. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you were new. If you haven't yet subscribed and you're a returning visitor, please do so now. It really helps me grow, guys, and it encourages me to keep delivering these messages to you. And because this is free, there's no cost to you. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Be sure, if you would also like, to follow White Crow Tarot on Facebook and Instagram. You can also follow myself at I am Ebony Wilson. Again, I really do hope there was a powerful, strong message in this for you, Leo. I look forward to seeing you again, and Happy New Year.